Well, it is a beautiful day, and I have with me David Smith, and he is the president of Big Win Island. We're out on the boat because we get to enjoy a fantastic day at a bare bone event, which is, of course, bone structure up here in Muskoka. So, David, thanks for joining us. Well, thank you. I well, should say well, thanks for having us. Welcome to Big Win. <laughs> welcome to Big Win. It's another sunny, gorgeous day on Lake of Bays. Unbelievable. And it's always like this. It is really always like this. So, you have to come and check it out for yourself. So, David, talk to us more about Big Win Island. I mean, it's historical, it's magnificent. Tell us more. Well, a lot of history with Big Win. It was. Uh, one of the resorts back in the 20s. The original uh, developer of Big One was a fellow by the name of C.O. Shaw. And C.O. Shaw um, was in the tannery business, but he had a real love and affection for big band. So he really promoted a lot of uh, uh, big bands and uh, bought a famous guest, uh, Duke Ellington, Count Basie. It was, uh, it was in the area of the steamboat. So the whole idea was people would come up for the whole summer. It wasn't like you were coming here for a weekend. It was uh, built to accommodate 200 guests. Wow. So that's the type of infrastructure that was originally on Big One. Hard to believe on an island back in those days. But what we did was, or, or part of the recreation of Big One, which is kind of interesting, is that uh, when the golf course was redeveloped back in 2001. And it's a Doug Carrick golf course? It's a course? Doug Carrick, okay. full 18-hole championship golf Beautiful. course. What happened is is that there were 72 really prime waterfront lots. So around, around, the around, island, around the island, right. There's so these gorgeous, gorgeous lots, lots, which is truly yeah, right. spectacular. And, and, and the bone structure that we're seeing today is on one of those lots. Right. How important is this bone structure event to Big Win Island? Well, I, I think, you know, two things with the Bone Structure event is that it's um, obviously showcasing what I think is, you know, some of the most innovative construction that I've seen to come along in a long time. And I, agree. And I wasn't sure what to expect, you know, when I was first introduced to it. Uh, but what I've seen over the past, you know, couple of months with the, the construction process and some efficiencies that I've never really seen in, in general in the construction industry. And, you know, obviously that's important when we're on an island. But I've often said that whether you're on an island or on a mainland, why shouldn't we all be demanding the, the types of efficiencies that we're seeing in this type of yeah, construction? Yeah, it's, it's a standard. I mean, it's, it's a, it's a standard, and I, you know what I see is something that the type of owners that we're selling to, or the type of purchasers that we're selling to, on big one will appreciate. So now we're talking steel construction and you built this during what I would say not the ideal season. <laughs> we uh, put the foundation in starting in September. Okay. By December 1st we, we had the foundation in, the steel packet showed up and by December the 8th we had two inches of ice and four feet of snow. So we shut the project down yeah. in December and we didn't pick it up again until May 1st and in six weeks this is Look what we've created. This landscape, the structure's up, the windows and doors are in, the mechanicals are done. We're ready for drywall inside. In six weeks? It truly is a bare bones event. The walls are exposed. You can see every pipe, every uh, electrical wire. You so Chris, the, the purpose of that is when people come, they actually go inside, they're outside, they can touch, they can feel, they really, you walk around with them, everybody's here to explain the system. So it's so much better when you're here firsthand, experiencing it firsthand. It really is. People's eyes opened because the finishes are not on the walls. They can touch it, they can feel it, they can understand the difference between a bare bone and a conventional wood frame building. So here we're actually talking in terms of tools. I mean, you joked with me before we came on uh, on air. Your tools Our are tools starting are to dust. collect dust because really you don't need the typical tools that right. you need for standard construction. So what do you need for a bone structure? Well, you need a good set of wrenches. Each guy is wrenching all day. I mean, the guys are physically more tired at the end of the day than they would be on a conventional wood frame construction. Okay. They're bolting pieces together, but the pieces fit. They're not cutting pieces to fit, they're assembling pieces that do fit like a big mechano set. So it is this like is a, a Lego or mechano this set. This is a mechano set on steroids. Yeah. It's just uh, <laughs> awesome to see these guys challenged in, in, in such a new fun way. We talk a lot, of course, about the waste, the excess, and more importantly, the buzzword, which I think is here to stay and it's going to get more so, is being environmentally conscious. Yes. And I think that's something that we all have to take you know, great consideration and do our part. So how important is that to you and to your consumers? Well, we, again, we're, we're going to lead this uh, market. We think it's very important. We, we hear it from our customers all the time. Can they incorporate solar? Is it environmentally responsible? Is it cost effective? Out of this uh, product here, which is soya-based polyurethane insulation we've used in the walls, we've recycled 7,000 water bottles in this one house. And how environmentally conscious is that? That's fantastic. It's recycled steel. We know that wood is a renewable resource. 
which is great, but we think that uh, steel will lead the way we're building houses in the future. It needs to be incorporated into what we do every day. A lot of times the overruns, the overcosts are because of time, material, especially an exorbitant amount of waste. Would you agree? This was really clean in that respect. We had a 53-foot okay. trailer of steel and there's no waste on that trailer, okay? Everything is designed to go in a certain place. We have beautiful manuals to sort out which piece goes where. It's like the biggest Meccano set I've ever played <laughs> with, okay? Every guy on this job site wanted to be here, was enthusiastic about it, and really got into it. I can't say enough about the machining of it, how well it fit, how it closes in, the air tightness of it. Uh, it beats a conventional wood frame construction. I'm a carpenter and I love wood, but the system of studs conducting cold in and out doesn't cut it anymore. And talk about moisture a bit, James. We're in a country where we have four seasons. We're very fortunate about that. But one of the things that comes with four seasons, of course, is you got hot air, you got cold air, they migrate together, and of course, moisture can result in that. Really nice about this place, okay? We have five inches of foam, spray foam and rigid panels. On a steel building, typically someone thinks, oh no, it's gonna be cold. It's gonna conduct the cold from the inside out. I'm a critic at heart and I was sold on this system when I found out they've got it thermally broken. They have plastic washers that have standoffs so that you don't get that cold conducting through. You're not going to get the, the screw pops and the cold things that you do in a typical wood frame construction. Let's touch upon the roof for a second. What about our snow load? Does it handle it well? I've got this SIP panel. This is our roofing system. These pieces come with uh, aspenite on each side, 10 inches of foam in between and they come in panels of four feet by 26 feet long. We put them up with a zoom boom. These go right on top of the steel structure like on the five foot literally. span, right on top. They're screwed together, but then what we've done is we spray two inches of polyurethane, two pound density foam on the bottom oh, side. Okay. So as far as your moisture barrier, it's fully sprayed and there's no conduction through here. There's no steel components or anything, no wood components. On top of this, we've put ice and water shield, and then we have a steel roof on top of it. So for Muskoka, you cannot beat this for insulation. We saw one of the worst winters ever this winter. Very true. I came over on a, a sled, saw five feet of snow on this roof, and it was holding beautifully. And you weren't even worried about it? Not at all. Yeah, see that's, that's like, a lot. It, it, was, it was a fantastic, like, you can't beat this system. As you said, you're a carpenter by trade. You've been building your whole life. You love what you do. Tell us again, why is it that you love working with bone structure? It's a cutting edge technology of no longer dealing with uh, the old fashioned studs conducting cold. Even the interior walls here, we did in a metal. Uh, you look at the lines of it, everything is true, straight and clean. When I come back from a winter and look at a wood frame building that I've left the lumber, yeah, it's all twisted. I came back this spring when the ice finally went out and everything was true and straight and I could just pick up and start working again on it. So you love it? I love it. Let me introduce this gentleman right here beside me. This is Mark Beauvais. He's the president, CEO, and of course, founder of Bone Structure. There's such a buzz around Bone Structure. So fill us in, first of all, about what is Bone Structure. Bone Structure is a new way to assemble homes. So not to build houses, but to assemble homes. It's a large Meccano wrecker set or Lego toy set. It's a technology made out of calvinized steel. Every part clips one onto the other. You don't have any interior load bearing walls. You can add on a window or a door to that house at any point in time in its lifetime. So it adapts, it evolves, it's eco energy efficient and it comes all together pretty fast. Uh, in respect with the environment, we don't need to cut down trees. Uh, we can come in and snug in uh, and build a property of 1,500 square feet to 15,000, uh, multi-residential up to four stories, commercial buildings, okay. and so on and so forth. And for the builders particularly, it's like it's like they're kids again. They just, they are so excited with yeah. this this new system. I it's mean, it's like toy. they're playing with Lego and, and a mechanical set. Absolutely, really. absolutely. It's, it's fascinating to see uh, grown-up people the first time they assemble one of our structures and you can really see it in their face yeah. they, they, they don't know how to express it but they're excited because what they've done during a day 
won't have to be redone the next day. It all comes together in a perfect system. And it's pretty exciting to see young people coming into this business that probably didn't want to come into this business because they didn't want to do the traditional same old, same old. Now they have a technology that they can play with and at the same time realize people's dreams. It's a game changer without a doubt. So it let's is. talk about these info sessions as well as these barebone events. So yes. right now, as I said, we're at a barebone event where people can come and actually physically experience and see inside the walls, yeah. which is so important because a lot of times when you go into developments, they don't want you seeing inside those walls, right? So, and then you also host on a regular basis info sessions. So can yeah. you talk a little bit more about that? Yes, we've come up with, we've come up with a program, what we call info sessions, where people can come in into hotels, so normally contemporary boutique hotels that look and feel like us as the or Germain hotels across Canada. That's where we basically demystify what this is all about. We explain who we are, our culture, how we came about this, how is it that we made it a patented system across 42 countries, why is it that people are flying in from New Zealand to be part of this adventure, and that we're fortunate to be uh, to be part of this crazy Canadian innovation and system. And proudly Canadian. And proudly Canadian, yeah, uh, born and raised in the rough uh, Canadian system. And uh, through these info sessions, we've realized that people really want want to see it, touch it, feel it, kick it. People don't ask the right questions because they're afraid to ask questions for which they won't have the right answer. You are entitled, if you're going to put so much money, whatever your budget is, so much money huge in this investment. asset, a huge investment that you, some, most people mortgage for 25 years and they don't ask the right questions. They ask about kitchen countertops, colors, they ask about the, the, the bathtubs, but the real thing is that your money is into the structure and the way it's built. So at a bare bone event like today, like we're having in Fortunate in this beautiful cottage country in the big, on Big One Island, it's like the human bone structure. It was designed the right way from the first time. And you can see where all your mechanicals are gonna go through. It's light steel, galvanized steel. It's not rocket science, but you get to understand and see what can be done with that home during its lifetime and how you can interact with that home uh -huh. and how you can have it evolve for you or the future generations. As it is your biggest investment, it should be a sound investment. People get yeah. nervous because yes. some people have had bad experiences out there okay unfortunately so can you talk us through your process you're just not letting anybody build your bone structure no. patent and technology you're selecting the best of the best correct? absolutely okay. to start off with we have a, a team uh, in our head office we have a team of 50 people architects engineers industrial designers uh, interior designers that can help you bring that dream alive. You have your own architect, you are an architect out there, you wanna play with us, sure, we'll open up the team as long as we have fun and make those dreams come true. So we're able to bring on the right people into the team to make things happen. Now, one very important key element into this, as good as a process as you have, as good as clean, nice architectural that you have, it all has to come together on a job site. And to mend that, we have gone up to the, uh, with this philosophy of making sure that we employ local people. And we entrust builders that have been into their local community over the years and have clearly demonstrated that are more able and apt than anybody They're invested their in that community, they have impeccable reputations. Absolutely. Yeah, and we have a very thorough due diligence. Just to give you an idea how popular our product is, we have over 400 builders in the past four months that have applied wow. to be part of our family across Canada. And we will select most probably not more than 10% of them after going through our very thorough due diligence. We want to make sure they're in line with our corporate values of respect, transparency, loyalty, security, and fun. We need to make this, we need to make, we need to bring fun back Absolutely, into this industry. Absolutely, I agree. From the whole customer experience of buying it, building it, making sure it's on time and on budget, we got to bring back trust and fun. Well, Mark Provey, what I can attest to you is you are certainly a lot of fun. Thank you again for this wonderful opportunity, great event, and for you viewers and listeners out there, you want to make sure you take advantage. Come to an info session, of course, come to a bare bone event if you can, yeah. and you know what's great about it is you actually get to meet him in person. Well, so you get again. to meet a real passionate team and a lot of those people are from the builders that we uh, take on board with us to, to make this a beautiful uh, product.